Maureen O'Hara and John Wayne were both towering figures in the most famous movie they did together, The Quiet Man. The film tells the story of Sean Thornton, who decides to settle down in Ireland after living in America. There, he meets a beautiful local girl, Mary Kate Danaher, and they fall in love. Needless to say, it's not all plain sailing. Wayne's character Sean, may be the quiet American, but he's big and tough, and takes no nonsense. O'Hara's character, Mary Kate, may be elegant and beautiful, but she is also tough and feisty. No wonder sparks fly between the two of them throughout. O'Hara had to endure being dragged along the ground by Wayne, in one of the most famous scenes in the film. She was left bruised and battered. She also broke a bone in her hand when she slapped Wayne during their first kissing scene. To make matters worse, she couldn't wear a plaster cast, because it would look odd while filming. Despite these hardships, O'Hara always spoke fondly about the film. She wrote, I have often said that The Quiet Man is my personal favorite of all the pictures I have made. It is the one I am most proud of, and I tend to be very protective of it. I love Mary Kate Danaher. I love the hell and fire in her. As I ready to begin playing her, I believe that my most important scene in the picture was when Mary Kate is in the field herding the sheep and Sean Thornton sees her for the very first time. It's a moment captured in time, and it's love at first sight. I felt very strongly that if the audience believed it was love at first sight, then we would have lightning in a bottle. But if they didn't, we would have just another lovely romantic comedy on our hands. The scene comes off beautifully. But for all their undoubted brilliance, and their explosive on-screen chemistry, neither O'Hara or Wayne were the real star of the film. Not according to O'Hara anyway. That honor went to a star much bigger than either of them. Majestic Ireland itself. The film was shot around Kong in County Mayo. A beautiful part of the country. It has since become a magnet for quiet fans, who flock there each year. It's even possible to take a ride through the village in a jaunting car, with a turnaround at the Reverend Playfair's cottage. The village of Kong, and the surrounding countryside, is indeed beautiful, as O'Hara acknowledged in a letter she wrote to the Kong Festival, to celebrate the unveiling of a statue of her and John Wayne as they appeared in the film. She wrote, I had never seen Ireland more majestic than she was that summer in 1951. It was the first time she would ever be captured in Technicolor, and we all knew while we were making it, that the real star of The Quiet Man would be Ireland herself. And she truly is. The film, of course, is full of shots of the lush green countryside. So much so that none of the characters wore green clothes. The only exception is where Mary Kate wears a green floral dress, in the scene set in the graveyard. Hundreds of fans erupted in applause, when the letter was read out to them by Patrick Luskin, the chairman of the festival. The statue captures the most memorable image of the film, with Sean holding Mary Kate in his arms as they begin the rest of their lives together. It's located outside a replica of the cottage Sean and Mary Kate lived in after they got married. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And leave a comment, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you'll be among the first to see our videos as soon as we post them each week.